The story is paramount to Fiona Bruce. As Antiques Roadshow rolls into Wolverhampton, the news presenter is hoping to unearth some interesting tales and priceless pieces at Whittick Manor. Occasionally, I am wowed just by the sheer beauty of an object that's brought along. Um, and the experts frequently are, of course. But for me, you know, I mean, my journalism is my background, and I'm, I'm more interested in the story, and that, that's really what, you know, what gets me excited on the programme. The presenter is hoping to discover some interesting local pieces linked to the Grade 1 listed manor, built in 1887, belonging to the affluent Manda family. What we hope is that things will come along that, you know, the odd thing will come along of a big value, because that's fun to have, uh, that things will come along with an interesting story attached to them, and possibly that things will come along that are associated with the venue or, or with the area, you know, or industry of the area, something that tells us about the kind of social fabric of the part of Britain that we're in. Um, but other than that, it's potluck. The Antiques Roadshow, aired for over 30 years, has featured some unusual pieces. I mean, this is my fifth year now, so, uh, and to be honest, every programme has something riveting to me in it. But, um, you know, I've had things that are terribly heartbreaking. Um, chap came along to a roadshow this year, hasn't been shown yet, with a, a toy that he was given when he was five and was never allowed to unwrap. Um, basically he hadn't done enough jobs to his father's satisfaction at five and so it was never unwrapped um, and he brought it along for us to look at and you could tell that it was a fabulous toy that any five-year-old would have dreamt of, of owning. So what has been the most interesting piece featured on the Antiques Roadshow? A, a whole kind of load of uh, Michael Jackson clothing um, and items belonging to him and his children and things that his children had written that he'd left behind in a hotel room, um, which turned out to have a very significant value. Excellent. And although Fiona furnishes her home with antiques, she has nothing of real monetary value. But of sentimental value, yes. I mean, things that are sentimental to me are things that are really, as it turns out, are worth very, very little. My mother gave me a beautiful little china figure, which I'd always really wanted as a child. Um, and it's slightly broken now because I really liked it and played with it. Um, but it's worth about a fiver. I brought it along and showed it to one of our ceramics specialists. He sort of rather looked down his nose at it and said, well, you know, it's not really worth anything. Um, but I really love it.